All praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth in sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. And I was sitting here thinking about, you know, one day we ain't going to remember this life. And it's in the scriptures. So the life that we live now, you know, is full of sorrow, full of death, travail, doubt, vexation of the spirit. You know, all these things is in this life because of what happened in the beginning. And the Lord promised that a kingdom will come. The kingdom is for Israel. And, you know, just imagine that, though, like when you read it. That it brings me to tears, man, because it's like one day all of Israel is going to live in harmony and we're not going to have to worry about death and being poor and, you know, worried about beefing and your woman not listening and your children bad as hell. Like we ain't going to have to worry about nothing. But let me get this first. Just to show you the state of what we're living in right now. And this happened in the beginning. You can read Genesis 3. So it says, because for their sakes, I made the world talk about the Israelites, the sons of God. And when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was decreed that now is done. Then were the interests of this world made narrow. That's a straight gate. Full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful. So. Narrow also is the straight gate, but also narrow is all the attributes that I just read. Sorrow, travail, few and evil. So you have a, a righteous straight gate, which is, you know, abstaining from lustly flesh desires and walking in, in the way of the Lord to the best of your ability. But also the narrow represents, as I say, full of sorrow, travail, few and evil, full of perils, very painful. You know, so this is the world that we live in now. But the Lord promised us that one day he's going to wipe away all our tears. Matter of fact, let's get that. This video is more of a, um, a upliftment, you know, a faith booster to keep you going. You know, when we make videos, we do this for ourselves first and Lord willing to be edifying to whoever watch it. So it says, and the most high shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. Now, this scripture right here is all that we look forward to. And I'm talking about the ones who believe. The thing is, is that we in the world, we have problems, but we have to keep them in. The way that we separate from our problems is by praying getting on your knees and praying man you can't talk to any person about your problems they don't get it you know so this is it's a lot of things that you store up and you just have to go through it you got to go through the motions man see our fight is not against flesh and blood so we get attacked more than a person that's in the world because the demons already have them anything that a demon bring upon their mind, they just do it. We have to fight it. We have to rebuke it. We repent, you know? And then it seems like, you know, well, actually, it don't seem like that's the case because the Lord said that, the, um, you know, favor, let favor be shown to the wicked. So you see the wicked prospering and you going through hell and you like, Lord, how long? That's why when you read the Psalms, you know, King David was always asking, Lord, how long? So, it's saying he that sat upon the throne said, behold, I will make all things new. And, then all, and another thing, too, while waiting, you know, you can get weak. The scripture says that hope deferred make up the heart sick. But when it come forth, it spring up as a tree of life. That's on Proverbs 13 and 12. So these are the things that if you have a woman, she don't understand that. Your parents, if they're alive, they don't understand that. Friends, that was it uh, that you had in the world, they don't understand that. See, we have a hope, and our hope have to be waited for. Your vain hope, talk about the people in the world, 
See, this world is your hope and you live in this world. So you every day trying to attain this world, trying to attain riches in this world and, and comfort and prosperity in some type of way. So your, your vain hope is right here. And as I say in Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, talking about prophecy, the people perish. You don't see a far off. Yo, you're nearsighted. So the things that we go through, people cannot comprehend. Only people who are alike. That's why in the second Ezra 8, uh, the Lord told Ezra, don't pray for them. You know, pray for such as be as you. For the tree of life is up open unto you. So don't be worrying about the people who perish, man. But one day, we ain't going to remember this life. And I'm going to get the scriptures to back it up. And it says, and he that, that sat upon the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, right, for these words are faithful, true and faithful. So everything that's written in this book is going to come to pass. The curses definitely came upon us. So the blessing is going to come upon us too. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega. Talk about Yahweh Shai, the beginning and the end, the first Adam and the last Adam. I will give unto him that is a thirst. Talk about the elect. Of the fountain of water of life freely. And he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. All right. As a matter of fact, it said this in first John. Uh so we going it's gonna be a hundred and forty four thousand Yahweh's, which I hope to be a part of that, and even a large multitude is gonna be blessed. And it says, Beloved, now. We are, are we the sons of the most high and it do not yet appear what we shall be. But when we know, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. Let's talk about Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is in his glory. We're, we're fighting to be in our glory. We're fighting to get to our glory. And the Lord had to go through it. We got to go through it. That's why he said, bear your cross and follow me. For we shall see him as he is. All right. So we're really going to know the ins and out of Yahweh Shai. See, we know he the only begotten. We know that he is the mediator, but we're really going to know who Yahweh Shai is, man. We're going to know him as he is. As he said in Luke 10, he said that only the father know of the son. All right. But we're going to know the son, too. See, we know that that's our savior. Our limit, we, we are limited in this flesh and in this body. But the Lord said he's going to change us and we're going to come immortal. This corruption must put on incorruption. This mortal must put on immortality. <clears throat> so it says a song of degrees when Yahweh would turn again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. So when you dream, you sleep, right? And when you when you wake up. For the most part, you don't remember your dream. Majority of dreams you don't remember. So in the context of the scripture, it's this what we're living in right now is a bad dream. And the Lord is going to turn it right side up, man. It said, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue was singing. Then said they among the heathen, Yahweh Bashmi, I wish I have done great things for them. All right. When you go to Daniel's two and forty four, it said the kingdom should be given to, you know, this matter of fact, messing it up. Oh, now I know it. The kingdom should not be given to other people. But since, you know, the Lord wanted me to get it, I'm going to get it. So in the days of these kings, shall the most high of heaven set up a kingdom which should never be destroyed. That's talking about us. And the kingdom should not be left to other people. But it shall break in pieces, consume all these nations, and it shall stand forever. All right. So what do it say? Verse two. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said among the heathen, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have done great things for them. So we just read about a future prophecy, how the kingdom is not left to other people. So that them is talk about the Israelites. This whole book is about the Israelites. The history and the mysteries surrounded around the Israelites. That's why when you go to um, Colossians 1 and 25 and 26, it said that this is a mystery. And that was just talking about the Gentile thing. That's why it's such a um, stumbling block to most people when it talks about the Gentiles. That's talking about the Israelites who left the customs and went into the way of the heathen. Real simple. 
we was calling ourselves African American, uh, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, Native American, Indian, Seminole, Indian, Mexican. We was calling all, ourselves all those bywords and, and proverbs before we came into the truth. We were Gentiles. All right. We are the Gentiles of today that got converted. Real simple concept. But, you know, the scripture says that the wicked is a deaf adder. He, he stop of his ear. He don't want to hear. All right. So it says, Yahweh Bashim Shai have done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Yahweh, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. We just got done reading. He's going to wipe away our tears. And guess what? We still got more trouble to go through. All the hell that we catch, you know, just in the mind, you know. Some of us catch hell physically in the body. So the things that we go through, which the scriptures call it vexation, most people cannot uh, relate or even comprehend. So, and we still got Jacob's trouble to go through, but what the Lord said, he should be saved out of it. Talk about the elect, but we still going to be in the world when this happened. We're still going to see death. You might even witness people that you love get put to death. Matter of fact, you will. Because if your family don't repent, they ain't going to make it. And it says, he that goeth forth and weepeth, bear precious seed, shall doubt, doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. So, you know, we're going to reap. All right. We're going to harvest everything that our eye desire. We're going to reap and harvest. All right. Everything. Everything, man. No more famine. No more death. No more affliction. No more sorrow. Only Joy. All right. Because right now we under curses, but what the Lord say about this. And there should be no more curse. This is the last book, last chapter of the Bible. And there should be no more curse, but the throne of the most high and the lamb shall be in it and his service shall serve him. And they shall see his face. We just read first John three and two. We should know him as he is. And he going to be with us, though. See, right now we long for Yahweh Shai. We want to be in the midst, in the presence of Yahweh Shai. The Lord is going to make that happen. And his name should be in their foreheads, which his name is already in our foreheads. But see, this is talking about. You know, when we changed, we're going to know all things. We're really going to know what that name mean, like his rank. When you go into that word, it talks about his rank. We're going to actually know these things. There should be no more night there, which means no more captivity, no more. After we get delivered, no more captivity. It's no more sinning that brings death. And they need no candle, neither light of the sun, which represents, you know, the knowledge for the Lord giveth them light and they shall reign forever and ever because the Lord is going to put the knowledge inside of us. He's going to put the knowledge, wisdom and understanding inside of us because he said that's the new covenant. Hebrews 8 and 10. I'm going to write my law, statutes, commandments inside of them. All right. We're going to be perfect. That's why we can never go down. That's why we can never die, which was the intention from, um, <clears throat> Yahweh in the beginning. But guess what? For us to understand both sides and receive both sides and to even show mercies to the nations. The Lord is not a tyrant. Every nation had a time to rule. So you can't say Yahweh was unfair. All right. He put the apple of his eye in captivity under y'all heathen asses. So you can't say he unfair when, it, when our kingdom come. Hey, the scriptures even say you're going to rejoice when our kingdom come. So shut your damn mouth. Right now, you look at us like thugs and savages and two thirds of us are. But you're going to love us one day. You're going to learn to love us. You're going to get beat into loving us. As the scripture says, ask of me and I give you the heathen for an inheritance. You should rule them with a rod of iron. Because you already know the nation's going to buck up in the beginning of our walk. So the Lord is going to be with us forever, man. And to end it on this, and this actually what inspired the video. I read this earlier. So this is kingdom right here. 
It said, Behold, that which I have seen, it is good and comely for one to eat and drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor that he taketh under the sun all days of his life, which the Most High giveth him, for it is his portion. So this is how it's supposed to be. And we understand that right now, as the scripture says, it's a time and place for everything under the sun. And we ain't in the time of prosperity. We are actually in a time of war and hate. We're not in a time of love and peace. So we're going to be able to enjoy the labor of our hands and the labor of our hands is going to be of other people's hands. We're not going to be able to do anything. The same way how we build up this kingdom, Esau, he reaped the benefits of it, right? But he ain't make shit, but, but things to destroy you. He created weapons. He said, and every man also to whom... The most I have given riches and even the technology that we have, all the radiation that go through our bodies all day. All the telephone wires, that's all electrical radiation. That's why every time that it goes up in um, radiation, people get sick. That's really what we're, um, where the so-called flu majority of the time come from. Every time they up up the electricity, radiation, that's how people get sick. So, um, every man also to whom the most high have riches in wealth and have given him power to eat thereof and to take his portion and to rejoice in his labor. This is the gift of the most high. All of this is going to happen in the kingdom. And it says, for he shall not much remember the days of his life. Remember, that's the title of this video. One day, this life is not going to be remembered. For he shall not much remember the days of his life, but the Most High answer him in the joy of his heart. And the scripture says, you know, if you delight yourself in the Lord, he shall give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 37 and 4. So hopefully this video is edifying and Lord willing, we continue to keep pushing. And for you scoffers out there, hey, you better seek you the Lord while he may be found. Shalom.